Episode 2 was very interesting and intriguing and kept us in suspense until the last second. However, soon we will see a new third episode, the release date of which you will find out in this video, which will be dedicated to Zubal. We have known this for a while now, but there is no information about who will be the main hero and villain of the new episode, and even though many people, including myself, were sure that it will be Martha Mildenhall, the reality is different. In the musical adventure, you can notice an interesting detail related to Pomni. When Kane ordered her to sing, a shampoo on which we already know Orbsman appeared in the frame, and I am 100% sure that it was a specific hint for the third episode. We remember Orbsman from the first season announcement, and we know that his location will be Spudsy's fast food place, where Jax will definitely end up. We also remember one of Gooseworks' posts, in which she showed a very strange Jax's outfit. Even though many people laughed at the maid outfit, no one paid much attention to it until Gooseworks revealed the secret of the outfit on Twitter, and said that we will see Jax in the third episode. And already, at least three leaks prove the fact that episode three will be about Orbsman and everything that surrounds him. But why exactly would Jax be the main target of Kane and send him there? I think the location will be a small modern city, and each of the characters will work in some sort of factory, and apparently Orbsman's Spudsies is the worst place to go, and the Gooseworks leak hints at that. Don't even call us that again, will be uttered by Jax in the new episode, and I'm sure it will be addressed to Orbsman. We also remember that Jax was very reluctant to take part in the new adventure, and Kane was only able to force him there. In the second episode, Jax showed his real face, and instead of a bullied guy who always jokes about everyone, we saw a real maniac who is only interested in murder, blood, and violence, and the situation with Candy Canyon Castle confirmed it. Also, in one of the leaks of the beginning of the third episode, all the characters are happily eating candy that Kane gave them after the end of Candy Career Chaos, and only Jax with a disgruntled look throws away his candy while holding in his hands a whole bag of sweets. Perhaps, this boorish behavior on Jax's part was the basis for Kane's displeasure and Jax's further punishment. One Thumbler user asked, My friend keeps insisting TADC is a kid's show, even though I've said multiple times the next episodes ain't gonna be for kids. What do I do? And Goose clearly said that they will change their stance as soon as the third episode is released, which means that it will be much more epic than the pilot episode, and even than the second episode. And judging by the fact that the third episode will be not for kids, it is likely that we will see a lot more drama and unexpected plot decisions that will make us admire some characters and distrust others. I'm sure it's the third episode that will be the best of the first season, and there are a number of reasons for that. First, we all know Zubal and the fact that she is Gooseworks' favorite character. And also the pilot and second episodes told us almost nothing about this character, because in the pilot episode, Zubal was punished because she refused to participate in the adventure. And in the second episode, she was able to hide. And again, because she didn't like the adventure that the other residents of the Digital Circus were participating in. And many people were wondering why Zubal kept refusing Kane's adventures and tired of the endless questions. Gooseworks answered the question and sarcastically wrote, Have you seen these adventures? Thus confirming that everything we've seen before was just child's play, and the adventure that Zubal will finally take part in will be much more interesting, dramatic, and epic. And since, as I said, Episode 3 will be all about Zubal, it's safe to say that this episode will 100% be an event that all fans of the amazing Digital Circus should look forward to. Also, remember the question in which Gooseworks was asked which of the episodes is her favorite, and she didn't give a definite answer, but clearly hinted that the third episode is one of them. And all these hints, leaks, and theories make me patiently wait for something great in the Digital Circus universe. And also I can't help but remember one leak in which Gooseworks described all new episodes with one word, and since it was before the release of the second episode, the word boy was dedicated to episode two. And since now we understand that the word boy was a reference to Jax, who became the main star of the second episode. So this leak contains keywords about the new episodes, and the word damn is very intriguing to me. But let's you post your theories in the comments about what might be hiding under that word. However, it immediately raises a reasonable question why at the beginning of the video I paid a lot of attention to Jax if the main character of the new episode will definitely be Zubal. As I said before, Jax is still one of the most mysterious characters in the Digital Circus because of his ambiguity. Episode 3 will most likely be the final episode in this trilogy, and we will finally get to know the real Jax and how he will turn out to be, is one of my personal main questions about the third episode. As we found out, Kane will send our rabbit to Spudsies to a very unpleasant manager Orbsman, who will apparently pay him minimum wage for his hard work. 
And since with each new episode, the level of artificial intelligence will become higher and higher, Orbsman should be several times more real than Gummy Goo, and his decisions and actions will be much more unconventional, which is very inherent to real live people. And in one of today's leaks, Gooseworks almost completely revealed the final relationship between Jax and Orbsman, and told who Jax will turn out to be. Don't ever call us that again. These words from Jax sound very unusual, because usually he's only happy if someone mocks or insults the others, but here he stands up for them. But what could have happened to make Jax change his views and attitudes so much? First of all, I think that after being humiliated and bullied by Orbsman, Jax realized how unpleasant it is to be made fun of or morally and physically humiliated, and realized that his behavior before was very disgusting, and in order to survive in the digital circus and not turn into a kinger, he needs to stay on good terms with the rest of the digital circus. I have another theory that confirms one of the leaks that I haven't told you about yet. Everyone knows that the main object of Jax's bullying is the defenseless and mentally weak Gangle, who we see mostly in a depressed and crying state, and Jax has been happily taking advantage of this by making Gangle's life worse and worse. He's also used to her never responding to him and just putting up with it all, and in an effort to pique our interest, Gooseworks was happy to share one of Gangle's lines in episode 3. We all understand when that expression is used, and I have a few theories again. Gangle finally responded to Jax, and punched him in response to his next joke, or Gangle had the courage to come fight Orbsman for bullying Jax. Either way, both of these actions will make Jax respect the crybaby Gangle, and maybe after that Jax will stand up for the rest of the circus and we will finally realize who he really is. All of this is a secondary storyline because there is no Zubal in it yet, which is what this episode will be about. First, we need to understand the reason why Zubal still can't decide on her gender identity, and who she is, and why she needs to live. Zubal is one of the youngest members of the Digital Circus, and is only 22 years old. In part, she is still an unformed person, and this plays a key role in her problems. Judging by the fact that Zubal keeps a huge chest in her room with many different parts hidden in it, she can't even choose her own particular style that every character in the amazing Digital Circus has. Perhaps the reason is her past in the Digital Circus, or in the real world. Let's remember Zubal's typical behavior in the circus. She's straightforward, a bit rude, afraid of absolutely nothing, and that's how we perceived her throughout the pilot episode, and most of the time in episode 2, until the final scene, where we saw that Zubal can be vulnerable and very sensitive to the rest of the characters, and the fact that she volunteered to stay in the digital circus tent to prepare everything speaks volumes about her as a kind and positive character. Also, I'm sure saying goodbye was quite difficult for her, and she also gained Pomni's trust, which is a guarantee that the character is definitely worthy of praise. As I said, the third episode will not only reveal Jax, but also Zubal, who we will learn a lot about in the near future. Maybe she will be together with Jax in Spudsy's adventure, but in a lighter form than the rabbit, and it would be very symbolic because there is a special connection between them. Anyway, we'll find out soon enough. And finally, I will say a few words about the expected release date of the new episode. There was about six months break between the pilot and the second episode, but it was because by the time of the pilot episode release, the second episode was not even 1% ready because the creators were just testing the potential of the new show on YouTube, and since the success was much more than everyone expected, to eliminate such long delays, the creators started to make the second and third, and maybe the fourth episode in parallel. It also lengthened the release of episode two. That means that already at the moment, the main part of episode three is ready, which means that the release can be expected within two months. I think that the period between July 25th and August 5th is the most acceptable for the release of the new episode which will be the best among all the episodes that have already appeared. That's all for now. Have a good day and bye-bye everyone. See you soon.